ट्रांसपोर्ट हैज बीन वन ऑफ द ओल्डेस्ट मोड ऑफ ट्रांसपोर्ट इन इंडिया गिविंग इट अ न्यू शेप प्राइम मिनिस्टर नरेंद्र मोदी हैज इनोग्रेटेड वाटर मेट्रो फॉर कोची इनलैंड वाटर ट्रांसपोर्ट वॉज वंस अ लाइफ लाइन ऑफ केरला रिवाइविंग एंड गिविंग दिस अ न्यू शेप द वाटर मेट्रो वॉज लॉन्च इट इज बेटर फास्टर एंड चीपर देन द रेगुलर जेटी सर्विसेज विच वर बींग ऑपरेटेड हेयर Encouraging the use of waterways will not only save time and money for the common people it will also save the environment and ease the traffic congestion in the city. The first phase of the project has been inaugurated. In the first phase a fleet of 9 boats are inaugurated that will be covering 10 km distance. Once fully functional it will have 15 routes and will cover a distance of 76 route kilometers. On completion The metro will have 38 terminals and will operate with 78 boats. Just like the regular metro train, these metro boats will also operate on a regular interval. The expected wait time for the boats is 8 to 15 minutes according to the officials. You can buy the ticket from the ticket counter and there is a dedicated waiting area for the passengers. The officials are expecting a daily ridership of around 35,000 on these metros. number of features make this metro boat better than the regular jetty services these include automatic door ac mobile charging point and enhanced safety measures on the boats that are capable to carry 100 passengers there is a sitting capacity for 50 and the other 50 can stand there are charging points around the seats so that passengers can charge their mobile while they are traveling Unlike most part of the country, Kerala has been dependent on waterways for its transport for a very long time. Built at a cost of over 1100 crore, this metro is first of its kind in India. Funded by the Kerala government and a German funding agency, this model can be replicated in at least 40 cities. The commercial operation of the water metro will start from 7 a.m. on Wednesday. It will continue to serve till 8 p.m. With the launch of this first water metro project, Kochi has become the only city in India to have a metro rail network and a water metro. The interior of the metro boat is similar to that of the metro trains. These ferries are being considered the waterway extension of Kochi Metro. Connecting at least 10 islands around Kochi, once fully functional, this metro will have 38 terminals and will cover the distance with 78 boats. Okay, this is something like a metro system, uh, wherein it's a seamless transport system. Uh, so you don't have to plan your journey or every every time when you get come, you will get a uh, boat available. And uh, all the systems are similar to metro. Uh, you have a ticketing system uh, with a using a Kochi One card. You can travel both uh, in metro as well as in water metro. Using the ticket uh, through the AFC gates, uh, you get into the trade area and enter the boat. Difference with the uh, normal system, uh, normal metro is only that your metro coaches are replaced uh, by uh, the boats in the bottom. That's the only difference. And the highest safety systems are there. Then you have a passenger control system wherein uh, uh, the, your your number of uh, vacancies available. will be shown there and it will allow according to the vacancy available on the boat uh, the jet is uh, different from normal jet is because it is a floating pond boat which is a disabled friendly system a person on a wheelchair can easily board the board the boat uh, because always the boat and the uh, uh, floating pond boat they are on the same level because uh, this is a uh, tidal affected area wherein uh, even though it is uh, lesser than many other places uh, 1 to 1.2 meter tidal variation comes so for a disabled person uh, entering a boat is very difficult and is almost impossible like right? here you can easily enter